Hello everyone, welcome to DigiBytes. I am Vabo Gupta, your Alteryx expert, and today we are going to learn about another interesting tool of Alteryx, that is Union Tool. We will play around with its configurations and learn that how data can be union in various ways. Then why wait? Let's start. So union operation or union tool in Alteryx works similar to what we do in Excel or we have uh, learned in the sets operation. It combines the data based on the column names and uh, combine it together. But let's understand what are the different ways through which we can uh, modify the data or combine the data through union tool in Alteryx. So first of all, let's see what data sets we have. So I have two files. One is sales data XLX. So in this file, uh, I have seven columns and 43 records. And similarly, if I go to the other file, I have again seven columns, but uh, we have 18 records. So let's combine these two data sets via union tool and see what are the different ways we can do that. So first of all, let's go to the Alteryx tool now. So I will go and drag in the input data and select the first file. I will go to files, select file and uh, select sales data dot xlsx. Click on OK. Then again, I will drag the input data tool. Select the second file. So you see we are getting an error while selecting this file because this file is open here. So this is a by default uh, error in Alteryx or you can say a configuration in Alteryx. If you are accessing files which are already open, it may shoot an error. So let's close this file. And then again refresh it. Now this time it works and I click on OK. So if I run it now. I can see uh, that uh, we have 43 records over here and here we have approximately 18 records. So now drag in the union tool and understand how it works. So from the uh, anchor of the first input, I will connect it to the union tool input. And again, from the anchor of the second input data tool, I will connect it to the input of union. So you can see we have numbering one and two here. So it showcase that how many connections we are making and in what order. So this is was the first connection and this is the second connection. So this is uh, how union tool works. So if I now click on run, I did not made any change in configurations. I utilize all the by default configuration. So I have now combined record of 43 plus 18, which is 61. So the data records have been combined together. So uh, here you have auto config by name. So that means uh, based on the column names in different files, it will add the records here uh, or it will up, uh, like uh, append the records at the bottom based on the uh, order of files. So first is this, second is this. Now there are other configuration. So auto config by position. So if I click it, and run it there will be no change in this case because we have the same order of the, of the columns and uh, uh, we have same data set so what does auto config by position means if in file one let's say we have order date and then we have a uh, rep then we have region but in the next file we have order date and region rep so order of the position of the columns has been changed in different files, but uh, the data set will add on based on position. So whatever the column comes at the second position and whatever the columns come here in the second position, the data will be based on position gets union. So this is what the data where we want to combine it based on position, it will work in that way. The third is 
manually configure fields so in this what will happen is i can like move columns from different files uh, and auto arrange which data set will go to which particular field so maybe happen that uh, order date uh, has been named here date and it is in some other way so i can drag in left right and auto arrange how the data from different files will be combined together so this is what uh, when we say manually configure fields for union so this is how in total union tool works and it helps you to combine the data from two files based on position based on name or manually you can configure how the data should get union so in case you have any doubts about these configurations or you are facing certain other type of challenge then you can mention in the comments or write us on the mail uh, that has been mentioned in the description section keep watching our videos and do follow our channel thank you